My name is Gordon McAndrew. I saw some videos of somebody uh, making uh, tin can solar collectors and I saw them doing it with a rotary uh, hole saw. That seemed uh, a little dangerous, but I did that already. I, uh, I had made up two stations with uh, drill press and uh, um, rotary hole saws. That was doing fairly well, but it took anywhere up to a minute to do any one can. So I decided that, you know, there's a couple of things. It's slow, it's dangerous, because you have to hold on to that can while trying to dr uh, drill through the top and bottom of the can. Uh, besides, it took two different uh, hole saws to do that. So I was thinking, well, maybe you'll do it a different way. So I decided, well, I would just do hole punch. Now this hole punch, it just punches two holes in the can and it leaves a bunch of, you know, the, the uh, curly metal around to, uh, actually, they're also saying that they needed to uh, uh, put in some, some metal to make the air slow down so that they could get a a better transfer of heat. Well, why add metal when you've already got metal? And so I decided to do this this way. I bought this piece of metal here. Uh, I put it on a uh, on a uh, lathe and made a the top part here is a half inch. It uh, goes right into the drill press uh, uh, chuck. And then the bottom part, I I made a, a, a angle on it, and then I uh, used a uh, uh, angle grinder to angle grinder to uh, make a, uh, a cutting <coughs> cutting edge on it. So it's a five sided cutting edge on this thing with a point. And it does cans fairly quickly. So, this is my contribution to what everybody's been doing with these cans. I figured, well, why do they do it, you know, this way so that uh, it's safer, it's faster, and, well, I didn't like having to hold that thing with the with the rotary cutter hole saw working within a quarter inch of my hand. <coughs> so here I have a, a press. Well it's just a drill press. Not turning it, no power, making holes in cans and doing doing exactly what uh, everybody else is doing, except uh, a little less dangerous. And I still use all the metal to gather the heat for the, uh, for the solar collector. When I was working on this earlier, I, I did a 20 minute stretch, and it averaged with all the stops and everything to record all my activity by because I'm, I'm counting how many cans I'm doing I averaged uh, I think it was 16 seconds well actually I averaged 3.75 cans per minute which I think is a little bit better than uh, averaging one can a minute the other way. Besides, I had to change stations continually to uh, finish up a can. So, I think this is a better way to do it. And it also, a lot quicker. And you can actually involve other members of the family 
to work on this instead of, you know, like kids could do this without causing any, uh, I'm not using beer cans, by the way, without causing any uh, heartache for the parents to see them working on something like this. Because it is not dangerous at all. Well, you don't want to put your hand between the can and the, and the uh, press, but, I mean, nobody would do that, I hope. Anyway, so that is my contribution to the mess, or the production of these things. Also, uh, I went down to the glass shop and I got a uh, three pieces of glass, uh, double pane window clear that they had lying around because they had been ordered wrong, and uh, 54 inches by 75 inches, there were two of them. The other one was a, one of those patio door uh, glass, I think, I can't remember the exact uh, width, but it's uh, 76 inches tall. I think it's uh, 30, uh, 29 inches by 76 inches. Anyway, $25 Canadian a piece. So if the glass shop wants to get rid of some glass, uh, it's pretty easy to uh, get fairly cheap stuff. Uh, those three pieces of glass was, are going to make a uh, solar collector 12 feet long. Anyway, so that's all I have to uh, say about that. I have done 15 cans while I've been talking, and uh, that's it for my video.